Hello everyone, my name is Juan Carlos and today I want to show you how to jump start a vehicle. It's a simple thing for some, but a complicated issue for others. Uh, last Friday I left my lights on throughout the day on my car and when I tried to jump start it just didn't start. I made a little video right after I had to push it, see if I could start it like that. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can start or you can jump start a vehicle. Um, if you have a stick shift vehicle, you can just push it, open the ignition, push it, and then uh, put it in gear, depress the clutch, and uh, most of the times you'll be able to start a vehicle like that. So that's how that's what happened to me. I had uh, I have a five-speed 1989 BMW 325i, an older car, and it has a, actually a manual transmission. So I tried that. My the the parking lot where my car was parked has a lot of hills. So I tried to capitalize on that and still didn't start. And then today I went back with this thing that I bought at Costco. It's called I'm really familiar with the brand. I'm not sure if it's if the brand is actually Touring Items Type S or Type S is the brand or Touring Items. Nevertheless, it's called a jump started and a portable power bank. I've seen this before. This is nothing new, but I never saw the need for one of these. I didn't really trust it. I figured this is one of those things that you will later find in places like um like a discount store, a heavily discounted price because nobody buys it or because it's like a white elephant type of thing. Um, it wasn't cheap, but it was not expensive. I think it's a reasonable price. I think it's $59.99 at Costco. So let's open the pouch to show you what comes with it. So when you open it up, hopefully you can still see this just for illustration purposes. It says to register it. I did not register it. It also comes with this, which I did not read before I tried it. That's, that's what I do. I just don't try to read the manual. Go figure. I first fail and then go back and read the manual. But today I'll show you the video that I took. And this. These are smaller jumper cables. If you're familiar with this, if you have seen this before, this is just a smaller version of what we've seen before. And this is the plug that comes to the charger. If I was to guess, if I was if I was to estimate the difficulty level of using one of these devices, I will, let's say between uh, one, uh, you're able to check the oil in your car, 10, you're able to open an engine and fix it. I will say this is about a two, it's about a two. It has very little to do with auto mechanics actually. As long as you know how to find the battery in your car, you're good. So this is it, this is the power bank. I, it also works as a little lamp. Anyways, it has this little lamp. It has this power indicator or energy indicator and it says not to use it when it's below the third line. So when I got it out of the box, it was on the two. It was there's four and it was on the two. So I had to actually recharge it. I took the time and it was about it was about two and a half hours to be fully charged. So I let it go all the way up so it keeps blinking until it's fully charged and when it's fully charged you just see the four lines lit up and um, so I did this while I was in the office uh, I'll show you a video over it so right after work I went and I had my buddy go and uh, record me while I did this I did not know what I was facing I actually the video that I'm going to show you it shows you the first time I saw this out of the pouch I just didn't want to take the time because I would I just wanted to show a candid video of what it's like to open one of these things in the middle of a uh, of, uh, car breakdown which is usually when you use this now as I said you may want to charge this before you put it in your car you can also charge it with your car so you get it like this So it comes with this rubber cover and um, you get it like this. You open this cover and then you plug it. It says to remove the clamps from the battery within 30 seconds of charging it, which I did. It starts beeping actually. So that's what you do. So I kept them separate at all times because that's what I learned when I was a kid. And um, But right now there's no current uh, running through the thing. Um, I'm just concerned with the time because the, my recorder only has like a 10 minute charger. So this is it. This is how you plug it. And then that's it. This is how you use it. It's like a level two out of 10 for difficulty. Um, you have to know very little to nothing about auto mechanics. 
the first thing you would do is open your the hood of your car and find the battery uh, if you know what a battery looks like and you found it you're good this car doesn't have the battery in the, the engine compartment so we're gonna have to go to the trunk some older BMWs have the the battery in the trunk in this case is right here so remove the cover and voila this is a battery that came with the car when I bought this car five and a half years ago so I guess it's kind of old now this is a little kit has the uh, the cables it has this uh, little rubber cover that I'm guessing is where the uh, the jumper cables plug you never want to let these two terminals touch each other I'm guessing you have to remove this this blue seal how good question maybe you don't have to no you don't have to remove those uh, the cover so you just plug it I was doing it backwards so there it is red is usually power or current and black is international for ground this is very easy to see if you notice in this case black is positive and ground is attached to the body of the car this that should be it right so this is without reading any instructions so this is like a level two when it comes to auto mechanics so let's try to start the car see let's see if it starts okay no so what am I doing wrong okay so apparently the first time I forgot to press the unbutton so now that I have the four lights and you see this green light right here it should mean that it's transmitting um, power to the battery so let's try it let's cry let's cross fingers again and it's that easy I am impressed $60 item that just started my car in my case, the battery of my car is in the trunk. I knew this, but I, in the video, I just wanted to show you that there's some cars out there that don't necessarily have the battery next to the engine or within the engine compartment. As you can see in the video, I found it. And then, well, basically you just lay this thing close to the, to the battery. This is uh, international for positive. Red is usually positive most of the time. And this is ground. In my car, ground is brown and positive is black but the easiest way i can teach you how to find which one is ground and which one is positive or negative is just follow these cables off the terminal and one of them is basically uh, just attached to the body of the car and the other one goes towards the engine so this is positive this is ground and you just plug it that's it you plug this one to one of the terminals to the positive terminal and you plug this one to the negative terminal and then once you do that there's a button right here that you just press and there's a red indicator I mean a green indicator right here that is gonna tell you that there's current passing from the power bank to the battery through these um, these cables and onto the terminals so I went uh, plugged it like I'm telling you right now and um, after just the time that it took me from the uh, trunk of the vehicle to the um, to the driver's seat of my car and crank the engine and it started right away with lots of power so yeah my car is a smaller car I'm guessing that for bigger cars it may not be as easy because there's a limiter here um, to how much it tells you up to what capacity it can work for your car so today I use it as a as a jump starter but there's other uses that you can have for this thing because it's just a power source that you can use for a computer it has the small usb cable for which uh, in which you plug your um the charger 
there's a bigger one here that I don't know what it is and I'm a little blind and this is the the plug for the car where you can charge this when you're not using it so right now it's fully charged I'm gonna leave it in my car just because I I'm really happy with what happened today so I think it's an excellent device to have in your car just in case you get a, a dead battery which I did today and um, I'm just gonna pack it the way it was I'm gonna leave the instructions back in um, nice and neat and as I, as I said it's so small that it's I, I just see no point of I thought you know if I'm not really happy I'm just gonna return it to Costco but I liked it so that's it guys pack it all back it's a hard shell pretty sturdy so I'm just gonna leave it in the trunk of my car so this is just a simple video on how to jumpstart your car in my case, it was a 1989 BMW 325i, also known as the E30. And at the same time, I wanted to introduce you to this device, the Torian Items Type S Jump Starter Kit. I think it's totally worth it considering that it's a jump starter, which rarely ever you, you'll need it. But it also could have an everyday use as a, as a power source. It's a little big for a power source for like a cell phone, but nevertheless, you can hold a lot of power and I'm guessing you can charge a lot of phones with this or you can charge your phone a lot of times with this. My name is Juan Carlos. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Hasta la vista.